Today's video is going to show you how we like to use the running game in Madden NFL 16. What's up guys, my name is Cody and today we're taking a look at some running uh, sets here from Miami's book. Now this is kind of that end of the half kind of thing when we really want to buckle down and say okay we want to run. Uh, and that's really what we want to establish is we want to establish a really solid run game. So we're going to show you the set of a popular run if it's the wide nine. But uh, the, the play, we're, the formation we're going to utilize is this tray open offset, and uh, the play we want to come out in is this halfback uh, counter or the read option. You can e you can pick either or. And uh, the run audible down here is the outside zone. Now the outside zone is actually very effective, and we can actually get that from our quick audibles if we want to just utilize this nice outside running play. Uh, as you can see, Jonathan Stewart to the outside. You know, pretty solid, uh, pretty solid little run there. Now, if they start shifting over, what you're going to see is you're going to see something like this, where they shift their line over like this. We can maybe potentially get this halfback counter going. As you can see, we get pretty good blocking from it. If you want to use the read option, you're actually going to get pretty good blocking as well from that. So that's pretty much that. And then you got the inside zone. You can pound that at the middle. If they're in a wider formation like the 35 wide nine, you're going to be able to run it inside. So what I like to do is just double juke back to the inside. And uh, as you can see, we get some really nice running lanes, really good setup for success there. Um, and then, of course, if they are inside, then we can bounce it wider. And if you have really good blocking receivers, it actually makes this play even better. But what you're going to see here, wide run, and uh, we're able to get some easy yardage as well there. Normally, this play is going to be bounced to the inside because if people don't base align their defenses, you're going to want to run this right up the hammer, right up the shoot, right up the gut. In situations, let me show you what I mean, where they base a line and they press and they run a base defense like this, this is where we're looking to get outside here, um, as you can see. So, pretty simple running system, really. Uh, it's just read left, right, middle. Um, the counter is something... Like I said, the counter is something that you know you really have to kind of. It's like your home run. It's like your your power swing in baseball guy. It's the guy that may strike out you know six times and then hit the home run that wins the game, and that's really what it is. It's a it's a hit or miss play. Um, but it actually, if you and you don't want the key to the counter is you don't want to hit turbo until you're in the open field. That's really the key to running this year in general. If you don't it, when you hit turbo turbo, you'll see they start block shedding. Um, if I don't hit turbo, they're not going to block shed. Let me show you. So there I'm hitting turbo. Now I'm going to show you not hitting turbo, not hitting turbo, not hitting turbo. Now hitting turbo, get to the edge, and as you can see, we're able to finish that runoff with a nice trucking animation from Jonathan Stewart. And we'll show you this with the counter as well. So not hitting turbo, not hitting turbo, not hitting turbo. And that really wasn't a good example because they're all over there. Let me show you if I can show you something a little bit better. An example. So here where they're stacking you, um, and this is pretty balanced run defense actually. Um, but you can see we're able to we're able to really kind of cut it inside. When you see two people over there, you're normally going to want to run this inside zone or this outside zone because you can run it inside right or outside right. So in the in the event that they're really balanced, here we're going to show you. But in something like this where they may, may they may go like this. So this is like a this is like a traditional nickel set right here. Something like this. It's going to leave that one guy on an island on the outside here. And so we're going to go counter. And we're just going to bounce it to the outside. And as you can see, we're able to get a decent decent amount of yards there. And it's really, like I said, the main run you're going to use, though, is this outside zone um, as it's very, very effective. Um, so that's really what I got for you guys today. Just wanted to share that inside zone or outside zone with you guys from the shotgun. Uh, and let me share with you the formation one more time. The tray open offset outside zone and then, like I said you can come out in the read option if you want and in the situation where you know you can you know you can easily make a lot of good things happen with this read option because it's it's similar blocking to the outside zone it's not the same but in the event that they have two people on this side of the field I would check down to the inside the outside zone here and uh, because you're gonna get a little better blocking in the event that there's only one player over there so like in this situation Thomas Davis the only player this event that's when I go in the, into the read option as you can see here and uh, and try to get some yardage. So just wanted to at least share that with you uh, here and try to show you they're really kind of staying at home on the quarterback here. And I want to show you that this is pretty solid for Cam uh, as well. Uh, if you want to go ahead and run that read, if you want to run the read, uh, the read option um, here. Obviously we go Stewart, but there's a situation if I can get to it here. So like this where the where he's, it's the, it's really the defensive end's the only line of defense, um, and I want to show you 
So here he crashes down on Stewart, and there's no one. There's no one for Cam. So, so you can use that and and really make make use of that. So anyway, just wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, and then, like I said, you know, don't be afraid to slam Cam up in the middle of things because he can take it. He's big. He's six five, something like that. So, um, and then you know, and, and in the event where you make a bad read, just a little spin move. Um, if you do the spin move, what you're going to see here, just a little spin move to the inside, and it's going to at least protect the football from being fumbled. Um, that's really what we're about here. And like I said, Cam in the open field. Uh, it's pretty dangerous. So anyway, I uh, just wanted to share that with you guys. I know I ran on a little bit at the end there. But uh, anyways, guys, that's what we've got for you guys. If you have any questions about this video or any plays that we broke down this week for you guys, uh, be sure to leave that in the comment section below. Uh, thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch these videos. I really appreciate it. And I just ask that you guys uh, leave a comment with any questions so that I can answer them. Hopefully this is help. Hopefully this is a benefit to you guys. Uh, and we'll see you guys on the sticks this week uh, with our uh, Mutt Game of the Week. Uh, and we'll show you guys that uh, this offensive scheme. So thanks for taking the time to watch our video, guys. Really appreciate it. And uh, be sure to leave any questions for you new guys. If you don't know what's going on here, uh, be sure to leave a question. Tell me you're a new guy, and uh, hopefully I can explain a little bit more about what the channel